Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to take you along with me. It is Saturday morning. It is about 8.30 a.m. I'm gonna get my shit together, make it so it's not so dark. Uh, I'm gonna get my shit together. I'm gonna to take you along with me today. Cooking, gym, everything I do. Gonna explain why I'm doing it. Let's get it. There we go. This is not an ad. Just good quality. There we go, fresh as a mother. What's going on everyone? My name is Jonathan Ells. I am a nomadic personal trainer. And in case you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe. This is where you wanna be for fitness, health, weight loss advice. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for more than 14 years, 10 years in the gym, four years on my own, nomadic. And yeah, so you're following me today. Uh, like I said, hit that subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notifi notified when I make new content just like this. And I'm testing out my uh, new road today. My other one broke back in September. So uh, hopefully this sounds pretty good. But yeah, let's get it. This is the view from my office. Our office, I should say. All right, guys, so this is the office. This is actually was our master bedroom and the bed was so crappy. Like the actual bed frame was so crappy. It caved in in the middle. Um, so we actually just put the bed against the wall. Uh, we converted it into the office because there's air conditioning here and downstairs there isn't. Here we got have a, have, we also have a gorgeous view. I just showed that a moment ago. So yeah, this is the office. So after I get my, my, my shit together in the morning, get ready, I come to this area and I start working. I do this Monday to Saturday. And because, well, as a nomadic uh, personal fitness coach or fitness personal trainer or nutrition coach, I'm always doing stuff for A, for my clients, and then I have a pretty firm schedule Monday to Saturday where I work on different things. Um, obviously, I have Instagram. I have TikTok. I have a private Facebook group that I work in a lot. So I'm always working, kind of working in my groups and my content, uh, connecting with people. This YouTube thing is kind of new for me. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of testing things out with YouTube, having fun with it, doing some different stuff. But yeah, so... Typically, um, on Saturday mornings, I'll work for about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, we'll eat breakfast, which I'm going to show you guys what we're going to eat as well. And then we get rolling on with the day. So, yeah. Oh, another thing also. One thing I do when I am in the office, always in the morning, as I'm doing this work, is I'm drinking a lot of water. I actually have this big jug here. This is a five-liter jug which isn't even my daily water intake. I drink more than five liters in a day, but what I do is I try to drink two big ass glasses. This is a mason jar, obviously. Two big ass glasses before I even eat uh, breakfast or before coffee even touches my lips. Now, if you're a big fan of coffee, I do recommend as a general thing to uh, wait and to have your coffee after you've hydrated and after you've eaten your breakfast, if you are a breakfast eater, if you're an intermittent faster, you guys are crazy. Breakfast is the best meal of the day. But if you are an intermittent faster, cool, that's your stick. Make sure that you at least drink water before having your coffee or wait until you have your first meal of the day to have your uh, coffee. Other than that, I'm going to get some work done. I'll check back in with you guys in a moment. All right, guys, it is breakfast time, and I'm going to show you guys what we have going on here on a Saturday morning. This is pretty badass. So one of the biggest things I can just give you as a general recommendation, what, I, what we do all the time, myself and my girlfriend do all the time, is have a high-protein, high-fiber breakfast. Whether we have more fat sources or carb sources, that really doesn't matter. What our focus is, high-protein, high-fiber, if we have other things with it, cool. So... I'm gonna show you guys what we're having today. So this is what we're having. We have, well it's frozen right now, but I'm, gonna, I'm in the process of thawing it. This is what happens when you don't prep ahead. But we have some 93% lean ground beef. Uh, I recommend if you guys are going with ground meats, whether it's turkeys, chicken, beef, doesn't matter, pork, 
you go at least 90% lean. Why? Because it's so much easier to get the amount of protein that you need when you go 90% lean without putting your calories through the ceiling. And one of the biggest things that people struggle with with getting protein is when they increase their protein, they're increasing their calories too much. What is the main reason for that? It's the sources and the things you are eating for protein are just not the best. So the difference between 93% lean ground beef and normal like 80-20 ground beef is massive. It's a big, big, big difference. So that's one thing. So we have that. Then we're going to have some eggs. I'm going to have three whole eggs because I want those, those fats. She's going to have one whole egg with one uh, egg white, just the white. Okay, just to minimize her calories. My goal is, is to add mass. Her goal is to lose fat. Our food is very similar. Our portions are a little bit different, uh, obviously because our goals are different and she's a lot smaller than me. By the way, thanks to her, she is on the camera right now. So you can make sure you drop some love for her in the comments below that she is spending her time and energy filming my ass all day long. So uh, thank you to her. She's a sweetheart and I love her a lot. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna introduce her over the next couple videos for you guys, do a formal introduction for, for my girlfriend, Almidis. But anyway, uh, so we have the meat going on here, we have the eggs, then what, what, what do you have in as well? We're gonna have some sliced tomatoes. So I'm gonna slice that up. Now, zoom in here, baby. This is what uh, she has. She has some overnight oats with Greek yogurt, bananas, and uh, sugar-free chocolate tip chips. These are sweetened with stevia. So this right here, this whole thing is 355 calories. And it's not a protein dessert. It has some Greek yogurt in it, but it's only about 10 grams of protein, but it's 355 calories and only has eight grams of sugar. And they're pretty much all from the banana. Um, then we have some refried beans out of a packet. They're not popular, but guys, refried beans are so good. They add more fiber. Uh, just add them in slowly so you don't give yourself any uh, unwanted gas. On my end of things, I'm going to have uh, 45 grams of instant oats. With my instant oats, I'm going to use vanilla extract, stevia, and some natural peanut butter. This is no sugar added natural peanut butter. It's literally peanuts and salt, okay? Uh, and then we have some, we're gonna make our coffee. I mean, who doesn't love the coffee? I'm gonna get that, cook, get that, uh, what are they called? Stewing? What are the, what's the name of that? I'm gonna get that. No, no, the, the, el proceso. El proceso de hacer coffee. It's, um, I, well, I don't know what the process is called, but anyway, coffee is getting made. Um, yeah, so we'll join back in with you just in a moment once I get things further along. Let's get it. Well, this is what happens when your eggs are old. That happens a lot in Latin America. Uh, it's hard to do things with one hand, but that doesn't look so sexy, but it's ready. <laughs> uh, and then this is the beef. This looks significantly better. There's onions, garlic, uh, um, paprika, uh, cumin, uh, pepper, um, achiote is, an, is, is another thing. Um, have the oats going right here. But yeah, olive oil, of course. And then over here we have our coffee and she likes regular milk in her coffee. Um, I don't put milk in my coffee. This is actually for my oats. I like black coffee. All right, so this is the finished product, guys. Look at this, so this is mine. I have three eggs and one white, I changed it. <laughs> Ground beef, tomato. She has tomato, she has one whole and two whites with ground beef as well. Once again, this is 93.7. We have uh, refly, refried black beans, but they're, they're, they're still tasty. Uh, meat, my oatmeal, and then, whoops, iced coffee. This right here is a guayaba. And in, in, in the north, we call them guava, but we don't have this red type. They are delicious. I think these ones are called tropical guavas. But man, the, the, the seeds are hard, but the fruit tastes so good. It's like, I can't explain it. Anyway, let's get it. Oh yeah, she just put this in the frame too. Someone got into that earlier. 
maybe it's a little delicious. Let's get it. This is one of the best things. This is something I've uh, planned and worked towards for a long time. Uh, decade in the gym as a high level trainer, seven years as a trainer of trainers, and the last four years running my own business. Um, this is something that I've always wanted is to be oceanfront. Now, I always choose to live in places that are really close to the ocean. Why? It allows me to live the lifestyle that I want. It allows me to walk a lot. It allows me to swim. It allows me to bike. I always try to go near the near uh, walking distance to a gym. Always, always, always. Since I've been nomadic, I haven't had a car. I sold my car and ditched my life back in Canada in summer of 2021. Had a big going away party and boom. Since then I've been nomadic. 100% uh, nomadic, but yeah, this is something I've wanted for a long time. What's going on? So we're on the way to the gym right now. Uh, our gym is about, I don't know, six minute walk from our apartment, which is great. I always try to get an apartment or house that is within walking 10, 15 minutes walking distance of a gym. I literally scout a gym first, and then I pick apartment based on the gym location that we want. So that's what we're doing here. We're on the way to the gym. I have a, I re-aggravated my Achilles tendonitis. So I'm not going to be doing the legs. She's going to be doing the legs too today. I'm going to be doing pulling. So back exercises. So I will show you guys some of those pulling exercises and give you guys some, uh, another voiceover, uh, you know, based on some, a couple tips that I have for your form and how to do the exercises better. So let's get it guys. We'll be going there right after this. All right, this is a basic pull workout. And I want you to pay attention to how I'm doing things, not what I'm doing. And I'm not showing everything here. Now this particular is a heavy plight loaded row. Look at my tempo, the speed at which I'm doing the reps. Every single rep I'm trying to make look like the last one, as much as I can anyway. So with this row, the only downside with this particular machine is the handles are too high. It's increasing the bend of my elbow, which is overusing my forearm and bicep. But I'll explain that in a second. Now, because that first machine overused my arms, I'm using this cable attachment for my lat pull downs, which de-emphasizes arms. Now, this is actually my favorite version, mid neutral grip lat pull down. I actually prefer it than the conventional. Now, I want you to watch, once again, my tempo or my speed that I'm doing this. I'm trying to purposely make every single rep the same, as much as I can. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not showing my full set in every single rep here, but you'll see here I'm starting to fatigue but I'm fighting the, well, the loss of technique that typically happens near the end of sets. I don't want those trash reps. I'm trying to keep it as controlled as possible. So the last, your focus is to fight the fatigue, fight it, fight it, get all those reps. Okay, the super popular rear delt machine that's commonly butchered. Now I'm doing this truthfully more for my traps, the middle of my upper back right to the base of my neck. But if you see my reps here, I'm not taking my arms way back behind my body. That's a big common mistake, don't do that. Now, I am readjusting the right handle because there's a problem with the handle with this machine in the gym. Then I go to failure. And finally, we have the machine preacher curl. I love machine preacher curls. Now, pay attention to the stretch. On bicep curls, guys, you guys are cutting your range of motion way short. You build more on this stretch than you do when you're squeezing. So let it stretch, straighten those arms, and then, of course, full range of motion as much as you can. Now on this set, I'm taking it to rate to failure again, and please ignore the noise I make at the end of this set. But truthfully, if you're not red in the face, if you're not making faces, if you're not grunting, are you really, really training that hard? I don't know. All right, guys, this is our weekly water run. We come to this uh, uh, supermarket, it's called Ara. It's like a discount uh, supermarket. Anyway, we get 12, five liter bottles every single week. These are about $1.20 Canadian each. Uh, we get 12 a week. Between my girlfriend and I, we drink about 10 liters of water or use about 10 liters of water um, a day. And you know, obviously when you're in Latin America or the Caribbean, such as we are right now in South America, you don't want to drink the tap water. You just don't want to risk it, obviously. So everything that goes in our mouths and our bodies is here. So we're picking up a bunch of these.
All right, guys, it's Saturday night, so we're doing a little dinner on the balcony. You can see what we have right here. Check this out. Rotisserie chicken. I started removing the skin already. So we have a rotisserie chicken. By the way, people really, too many people think rotisserie chicken is not a good swap. It is great in a pinch. We eat it once every single week, especially on Fridays and Saturdays or when we're more likely to have it. So we have a rotisserie chicken. That's not gonna last long with us. Then we got some frozen mixed veggies with some Mrs. Dash. Really simple, really easy. We also have arepas, Colombian arepas, which are basically corn pancakes, you could say. Uh, but you eat them savory. So you eat them salty or you eat them with cheese, but I'm not gonna eat them with cheese. We're just gonna have them normal. What do you guys think? Is this the, a good place to have dinner or what? Let's get it, guys. And these are what the arepas look like. They're just corn pancakes. They're like a corn, like, um, have you guys heard of roshti? Uh, no, roshti's potatoes, but like, these are made out of corn. Yeah, it's my first time making them, so don't judge too hard. One of the most common questions, the most asked question I got in 2023 on all my social media platforms was, how do I get more protein? Now, if you see between two of us, we are going to absolutely devour probably 90% of this rotisserie chicken. For a small person like my girlfriend, that's actually a large chunk of her total daily protein intake. Now, we're not trying to get all of her daily protein in this one trunk. She just destroyed her leg workout, so she's probably needing some of this protein right now. But the tip is, my biggest tip for you guys is increase your variety of, of the protein sources that you're eating from. Change up your cooking methods for your favorite type. Let's say you like chicken, change up your cooking methods for it. Don't cook it the same every single time. You can bake it, boil it, air fry it, uh, grill it, um, chop it into pieces. You can slow cook it and tear it. There's a million ways you can do it. Different seasonings, different styles of doing stuff. Change it up, give yourself some variety. Um, let me slow down, I, I'm a fast talker, guys. And then another thing is just increase your portions. If you're having a hard time getting your protein, just eat more freaking protein at every single meal. Just eat more protein. So if you normally eat this much chicken, double it. It's, you know, I, it seems like common sense, but then people say, well, I'm gonna get so full. Well, eat less of the other shit. Eat less of the other stuff you have on the plate or in your meal, and then prioritize the protein. Why? Because it makes fat loss easier. It makes muscle gain easier. You need it to gain muscle. You also want it during fat loss phases to make sure you don't lose muscle. By the way, muscle equals tone. You want protein, whatever your goal is, you want protein. Okay, guys? But anyway, we're gonna eat here. Oh, she's getting a little BTS on me. Thanks so much for following me around. If you've made it this far and you followed through my whole day, my focus on this video was to do something that's gonna give you a slight per more personal side of me and what I do in my day um, and kind of the lifestyle that I live nomadically. So if you like that, make sure you hit that subscribe. Uh, thanks again, hit the bell so you're notified when I make a video, which hopefully is gonna be more frequently. And then on that note as well, drop your comments or questions down below and um, to make sure that I I'll answer every single comment and question that you guys put. I appreciate y'all. Till the next time. Cheers.